What's going on, everybody? Um, well, it's me again. Playing more Grim Fandango. Smiles as bright and wide as the blade on my scythe. Eh, we can talk to the living. Oh, it's the fear of death that makes monsters of us all. <laughs> Soon I'll be coming for them. What does that mean? What, Manny? Boo. Did I look like that when I was alive? I think that's what we all look like. Scaring the living is technically against the rules, but we all do it. Scare the living a few times. Oh, nice. I have to say, this food looks pretty good. It does actually count. In this world, all I can do is look, smell, and reap. All, all this poor motherfucker can do is look at things, scare the shit out of people, and take souls. That's it. I can't reap hamburger, cows, or a whole other bureau, not to mention the lettuce. What? There, I understand there being a reaper. For cows and animals, that's understandable. But the the lettuce, well, is it like each individual slice? Once it becomes a slice or something, like say you slice a tomato, chop 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 chop, and does each individual slice is this own reaper, or does or is that still technically one tomato? Like a head of lettuce. Well, if you peel, you're peeling off the leaves of lettuce and. Now you got like 120, I don't know how much is on a fucking cabbage head. But I'm just saying, that's that's technical. That is some technicalities. Hey, ooh, is that a Coca-Cola? Truth be told, I'd rather be setting this milkshake soul free. Oh, oh, it's a milkshake. Can't reap the milkshake. Can only smell it. You can only, oh. Mm, smells like the perfect client, rich and sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this our guy? Bound only by the paper thin wrapper of mortality, a soul here lies, struggling to be free, and so it shall, thanks to a bowl of bad gazpacho and a man named Calavera. Oh. I can't carry the whole package out of here. He's got to shuffle off his mortal coil. Then we can split. Oh, is he gonna kill him? Wait. Why is he in that bag? If he's still alive. Are the do the living just like well Nah, he he's he should have died today. Put him in the bag. Yeah, put it put him in there. And then they just wrap him up in a fucking like what looks like my fucking lunch? A fucking brown paper bag, some duct tape? The words say, eat later, on the side. <laughs> All right. I can't use my bare hands. I'm a professional. A professional would use their bare hands, Manny. Let's be honest. Oh. Oh. Pop the scythe out. I don't mm. want to mess up my blade. What do you mean you don't want to mess up your blade? He's a skeleton. Nice What's up, buddy? Oh. Hopefully this guy was rich. We offer several travel package upgrades if you care to cut the yap. I want something cheap where I can get some rest, and that's it. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster if you wanted. Oh, yeah, please. Yeah. Whatever. Oh yeah, slam the front into the weeds, tub the rear end, do blowers, pop it out <laughs> You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez. What? You'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, uh, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here. Have this complimentary mug. No, wait. 
Oh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno. But my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. Yeah, How am fuck I you. To make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me. Hey, now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out. Out on the street. No job. No way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill. Who you calling a scumbag? Why, well, I ought to... Yeah, shut him up. I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one. Well, I mean, it could fly in here like it was tied to a brick if, you know, you threw one in there. Just saying. The best way to make an opportunity is to make one yourself. Go. Oh. Oh, it's tank controls. Right. Beep, beep. What is that horrible squeaking noise you're making? New shoes. For a second there, I thought the lady was straight up talking about the beeping I was doing. I was like, yeah, I mean, it was supposed to be annoying. That's the point. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. I'm not a whipping boy. Hey, Mr. Great Poisoning today. Hey, you missed a great poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. Equally, I got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. Well, at least you don't work for one. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. Wow. Hey, what's in here? Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Let's go in here. Hey. No, no, go in. That door's not open earlier. You know, it sounded like he was doing something a lot different when I came in. I'm glad he's just, uh, you know, hitting the old bag. <laughs> it's Domino Hurley. The sweatiest man in the office. You gotta sweat this cell, Callie, and you know it. How is he talking with that thing in his mouth? That is a mouth guard he is wearing. Not interested. Wait, what? What are those? Those pictures come with the frames. That suit come with those holes. <laughs> No use for it. Well, let's talk to him. Let's talk to him, man. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, Kelly, how you doing? <laughs> how'd you make so, out? Out of the poisoning. Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. What is it? For trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Whoa. Choo -choo, little buddy. What? So, how'd you score? <laughs> well, I mean, let's be let's be real with them. Let's be real. I got a mean midget I had to send parcel post. Ah, cheer up, buddy. Another day, another death. Am I right? Hey, you're right, brother. You're right. Uh -huh. I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. <laughs> Can I have one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Just as soon as I get what I think you could handle, I can handle anything you got. Especially if that's your best right jab. 
Why do you get all the good clients? You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. <laughs> what did you do to get this job? You mean what's my secret to success? No, I mean how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit <laughs> and how long are you gonna have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you, but I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. Wait, 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 wait. Manny doesn't know? Manny doesn't know why he's down there? What? Does he not remember anything? Does he have, like, amnesia? Skeleton amnesia? Skeletal Asia. Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? <laughs> I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. No. Oh. I want to tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. <laughs> I think we should team up. Be partners. Yeah. Manny, I, I would, but I'm too intimidated. I could never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your <laughs> wife. You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. Oh. Uh -huh. I want my office back. Don't worry. Oh You'll no. Have years and years to enjoy it. After I get promoted, I had to do a nervous gulp there. Still here. Because he couldn't do it because he has, well, no meat. He he can't even swallow Look at this guy. He thinks he's up to something. I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Oh. I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh no, not the Christmas party all over again. What happened? What happened at the Christmas party. Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. Well, you sound pretty out of breath. So I'm gonna blow. Always a pleasure, Cal. <laughs> hey, let's look around. Oh. Oh, I actually kinda like that on the just yeah, let's look at here. See who's got in his desk. Desk drawers? I don't have desk drawers. Hey, Dom. What's your screensaver password? Get away from my computer, Manny. Oh, he... Okay. Um, well, it was nice hanging out with you. Uh... Dick. He looked at him when I said that? Oh, Manny. Oh, Manny. Manny, Manny, Manny. Alright. Well, where do we go from here? Look at the stuff. Ah, the old files, the old clients, the glory days. When people died with dignity and Domino Hurley didn't exist. How long has Manny been doing this? How long? I don't want to reread the old files. It'll just make me sad. But not picking that up. Oh, come on, Manny. Come on, Manifer. My computer Man gives Manfred. me instant access to our database of deadbeats. Well, yeah, let's look at the database of deadbeats. I should close Bruno's record before the black marks burn into my screen. <laughs> my message tube is full of nothing, as usual. Hey. The worm. Put the worm in there. It's a deflated balloon. Select that, dude. Put it in. That's not what balloons are for. That's not what balloons are for. Put it in there. That's not what balloons are for. I don't got the lungs for it. Oh, I get it because he's dead. He doesn't have lungs. Huh. Wow. So original. 
At least they give you the option to also click and move with the, the tank controls. I'm too lazy to use the keyboard. I'm sorry. I mean, I should. Ugh. Damn it. I'm using them. I'm using them. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. So... Where do we go from here? I'll look around. I'll never get out of this place. <sighs> you and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think <laughs> you're better than me? No. Good. He almost beat Manny's ass. Let's go talk to him. Where'd he go? In here? He fit through that door? Where is he? Where'd he go? Bruh. In here? Whoa. How do you get in here? That wheel should open it. Well then use it. Not picking that up. I don't want you to pick the wheel up, dude. The wheel won't turn and the door won't budge. Uh Manny. What is this? It's the sophisticated and delicate hub of all the communications here in the Department of Death. What does that do? So it just stores letters? Picking that up. Well, obviously... I never touch anything more sophisticated and delicate than myself. Okay. <laughs> Whose car is that? It's been sitting there for a while. Is that... Is that Dean Domino? Dom... Oh, Dino. Oh, I sold so many car travel packages when I was first starting out. When did I lose my edge? Oh, I sold so many car trap. I left my tow truck back in my other suit. <laughs> we can't operate cars. That's how they keep us from skipping town. What does that sign say? No parking. Client car pickup only. Oh. It's bolted down. No, it's not. No parking. Client car pickup only. Well, no parking. Client car pickup only. No parking. Client <laughs> car pickup only. Okay. Um. Maybe. Maybe in here. All right, I really need to start using the tank controls. Come on, I can use the tank controls. I'm cool. I'm hit. Where the hell do I go? Over here, the Bing Bong. Just, just run over there, Manny. We we understand. Bing bong. It's locked. This sign says, "I'm at the junkyard." Woo! Oh. No one in there. Well, Not open it. Up. Not when there's a door. Then use the door. It's locked. It's a tool cabinet. Obviously. Not picking that up. It's locked. Great. I I'm just so happened to be in the one mechanic shop probably in the entire multiverse that locks their tool sheds and their tool cabinets. Of course. Can't be that easy for me. 
<laughs> okay. Maybe it's outside. Maybe I was supposed to go outside. So apparently you're supposed to come in here. Pick, get the worms. And then you put them on this? Oh my god, he's built it up! Why do you have that? No! Oh no. Okay. So two of each. So then we go to the sorting room. And then we take this. Warning. Fire system. Do not touch. I need it. That's not on fire. Okay. So now we go back upstairs. The worms, the worms were used right there. I think this is about as far as I got as a kid. I don't know why I was thinking of using worms. Okay, so now it said we're supposed to come over here, right, and use both of them on the tube and I guess that's just gonna clog it up and it's gonna have the dude clean it what the hell is wrong with Manny that does not look right oh no okay and then we use the other one where is it? Where is it? There it is. It just sucked it up. Hot dog. That doesn't sound good. Close it. So now we go back downstairs. Servers down again. What else is new? <laughs> oh my god, was Manny trying is Manny just trying to blame this on the dude? Oh. Hey man. Communications maintenance staff is on the job. Hi, I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? This is their idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they like that. <laughs> mm. Who did a terrible thing like Who this? Would do a terrible thing like this? Those punks in the mail room. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. <laughs> Just curious. How'd you get in there? I squeezed out one of these tubes like a pixie. How do you think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. <laughs> Can I squeeze in there just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. What's so special about you? I, sir, am an elemental spirit, summoned from the land of the dead itself. Oh, yeah, fuck. Yeah, let me guess. You were given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Fixing pneumatic tube switchers. No, I was created to run the elevators, but they put in those dang motion detectors. <laughs> put me out of work. So now he's just maintenance. He, his one purpose was outsourced to a, a little computer. So 
you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. So how long is it gonna be down? With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes <laughs> first. You know, I really think it's clean enough. Oh, it's clean enough to run, all right. I'm just fiddling around to be safe. You know, gotta cover my ass. Yes, you do. Say, uh, Chatty Cathy, I got a hey. lot of tubes to flush here. Hey, me too. I'll let you go. Hey, close him in there. Hey, close him in there. Oh, not again. He caught on fire. You trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher. Spray that on this packing foam, and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here. <laughs> Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste. Well, hey, you know, we figured something out. Ah, a cheerful communicate. Hey. I'm still not getting any messages. I'm giving you one right now, but you can't see my hand. Oh. Close him in there. The dick. The wheel won't budge. Close it. Close the door on it. Not picking that up. I do not want you to pick it up. I want you to close it. Good enough for government work. Oh, there you go. Well, hey, you know, at least you got it fixed. The guide says, while the door is still open, use the lock on the door to lock it. Oh. Manny then says, I've just locked an open door. Exit the server room and return. What does that mean, return? Oh, so go in and then go out. Go to the server room and stick your playing card full of holes into the tube system. After cutscene, you are in your office with Mercedes Mesh Clemore. Wait, do I have to do that again? Oh. Oh my god. <sighs> All right. Okay, so let me go in here. Wait. Wait, 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 wait.
Server's down again. What else is new? All right, all right, all right. So I'm back. Hopefully I cut to this part. Um, I may or may not have accidentally forgot to lock the door. So while he's doing this, I have to lock this. The wheel won't budge. The wheel won't budge. It just said I have to do a few. The wheel won't things. budge. The wheel won't budge. The wheel won't. Not picking that up. The wheel won't budge. It just said keep doing it. The wheel won't budge. The wheel won't budge. The wheel won't budge. Just keep doing it? The wheel won't budge. Wait. While the door is still open, use the lock on the door to lock it. Manny then says, I've just locked an open door. The deadbolt looks like it's not set. I've just locked an open door. Strange, yet symbolically compelling. Okay. So... Now I leave the server room and then go back. So he gets a fix. Good enough for government work. But that doesn't see that it's prop open. Okay. And so now we go back in. Open that shit, Manny. As a rule, I never touch anything more sophisticated and delicate than myself. <laughs> it's the sophisticated and delicate hub of all communications here in the dip. Not picking that up. Okay, so the card. This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. The deck of cards just wouldn't help there. Hmm. So if I put this That's in not on fire. Oh. Okay, so... I see. I see what I was supposed to do. I'm an idiot. I didn't do it in the first episode. You gotta get the deck of cards and put a bunch of holes in them. This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. He just wanted to mark his cards. Okay. So now, go in here. Go in there, Manny. I don't want that one. Deck of cards just wouldn't help there. So, so I just put the one card in there with the holes. This card's full of holes. I couldn't play this card there. I don't 
feel like pitching cards right now. I couldn't play this card there. Okay. So are only some of the cards marked? No. I wanted the whole this thing, man. This card's full of holes. Oh, oh. Said this color mark, client number 9308, blah blah blah, died of chicken pox, time of death, yada yada yada. Aha, positive attributes, volunteered time reading stories to dying children. Nice. That's good. That's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. Okay, here we go. Cutscene. Gladys, are you loco? What got into you? That was a company car. Oh, yeah. And it's even better company now. I'm in. <laughs> Buenos dias. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche, I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha. Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been our volunteer work. Uh-huh. Mean to animals? Oh, no. I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Work with me, Meche. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry, I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. Excuse me, but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. I just don't understand it. Why can't I find anything good for Mechi? I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. Hey, funny bones! In my office! Now! You vandalized company! 
company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road. All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent. Got him. Nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine. Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients the domino. That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service. Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. Got him. Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! Well, um, I think that is a good place to stop. That was, um, oh my god. He, he got messed up. I mean, technically he did that to himself, but, you know, screw Manny. Alright, um, thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you in the next video.